Hello, beautiful Libra, and welcome to the Heels Healer Tarot. My name is Angel. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel, where we learn, grow, and expand together, working to raise the collective conscious one unique soul at a time. This is your soul coaching session for the collective soul sign of Libra. I do set the intention that this reading may resonate with you wherever you may find Libra placements in your chart. If you do not know your chart and your chart placements, you can get a free copy of your birth chart over at my website. The information for that is listed in the description box below. And for a limited time, if you subscribe and become a part of the Soul Joiner family, you can also receive a free astrology report as well. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell. I would love to have you as a part of the Soul Joiner family. Now, this is your soul coaching session. And we're going to be looking at the transition from the end of 2022 into the energy of 2023. We'll pull a messenger oracle to see what the overall general messages are. And then we're going to be doing the soul coaching spread, which is a spread that is unique to my channel and is unique to my spiritual life and self-actualization coaching practice. So let's go ahead and tune in and tap on our energies together. I want you to take a deep breath in and hold for however long it feels comfortable for you. Release that breath. And with releasing that breath, I want you to release any tension that you have built up anywhere in your body. Release any expectations that you have for this reading. Continue to breathe in and out. And I want you to bring to your mind's eye what it is that you came to this reading for more clarity, more insight, and more understanding about. Continue to breathe in and out, and I want you to bring to your mind's eye messages for clarity. But I also want you to be open to whatever messages come through, as they are for your highest good and your greatest soul's vibration for the collective soul sign of Libra. What does Libra need to know, Spirit, for their highest vibrational good? And so it is. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. I trust that this message finds you in sound mind, body, and spirit. Your oracle message, beautiful Libra. Embrace the feminine. This is an energy vibration of 10. I like this energy. Embrace the feminine. It's wanting you to open up more to your divine feminine energy, to your creative muse, to your compassionate, to your loving, nurturing, caring self. It's also giving me Empress energy vibes. That 10 energy talks about things that are changing, things that are abundant, things that are prosperous, world energy, creativity and abundance coming through. It's also reminiscent of your energy with the Empress energy. Manifesting beautiful new things in 2023. Soul coaching messages for the beautiful collective soul sign of Libra. What does Libra need to know? Spirit for their highest vibrational good. And so it is. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. All right. The why. Okay. I like this energy coming out as the why we are here energy with the focus of this reading is all about. It is all about you ascending and progressing and overcoming leaps and bounds in your life. There's something here about you having a lot of success and a lot of accomplishment. You're rising above some of your competitors. This is an energy of you being in a very high vibrational energy and an energy of manifestation and truth. The seven energy talks about your personal power as well as your personal self-expression. It's an energy that talks about successes and victories in your life, but it's also an energy that talks about your accomplishments. The seven 
seven energy is an energy that talks about knowledge and advancement. So there's lots of knowledge, advancement, awareness. There's lots of progression, success, and victory to be had for you in 2023. Let's look at your connections. Okay, so there's a connection that you're on the outs with, something that has ended in the recent late. Um, this could have been an energy that was unequal, unreciprocated, that brought in a lot of disappointment. There's a lot of sorrow here in reference to whatever has been lost. There's also an energy of an opportunity for change here, especially with this five of pentacles energy. This young lady is sitting here, what appears to be like in the middle of the street, outside of what is most known as a church. But the key here lets me know that you have the tools, you have the resources to bring about some form of change, but there's no action being taken here. There's actually no energy that's being put into making something different. In fact, you're turning away from whatever this connection was that has that has been lost or a connection that has broken down in the past. This is a card that talks to me a lot of times about irreconcilable differences, not being on the same page and not moving in the same direction, not building towards the same goals. What's the energy of your vibration? Yeah, you're sitting in a nine of pentacles energy. You're in a very abundant, prosperous energy right now. This lets me know that you're in this high vibrational energy. You're staying in that high vibrational energy. There's blessings and abundance here. It goes right in with that energy of embrace the divine masculine, I mean, the divine feminine energy within you. This is the energy that talks about fulfilling purpose, living in purpose, passion, purpose equals prosperity. And it also lets me know that you are single and independent at this time, or at least you're in this very high, self-sufficient, um, self-controlled, um, where you're really creating from your own space. It's a very independent, autonomous energy that you're in right now. So let's look and see what's going on in your environment and within your body. Around you in your environment, there's this energy of the Five of Swords. So you have two Five of Swords here. And I'm feeling as if though this is a connection or a connection that you may have been in. This was a connection that there were no winners and there were definitely no um, nothing but losers here. This is a, a, a no-win situation. It's an energy of feeling as if though there is a loss here. There's also an energy here of a disconnect, a lack of clarity, a lack of awareness. There's an energy here that oftentimes talks talks about self-sacrifice, I mean, not self-sacrifice, um, uh, self-sabotage, especially with the Five of Swords energy, it's conflicting thoughts and conflicting actions. It's like doing things that don't really make sense or trying to make sense of a situation, but having a hard time gaining clarity. But there's also that energy of there's deceptive thinking or there's delusional thinking or there's a lack of ability to see things from both sides. It's almost like a one way way of thinking an all or nothing mentality here where things are either all hot or all cold cold, all black or all white, all good or all bad. There's no middle ground. There's no middle awareness. There's no communication. There's no collaboration. There's no coming together. It's just one way or another. This is also an energy that talks about emotional and mental distress. So if there's anything that's going on that you, leak, you seek clarity for, there may be a need to gain some form of clarity. But I'm really feeling as if though this energy is external to you and not internal to you. I'm getting this energy of all almost like feeling as if though someone is rejected, abandoned, left out. Um, there's a, a lack of focus and attention here where someone feels as if though they've just kind of been kicked to the curb and, and forgotten about in some way, shape or form. And it's causing a lot of emotional and mental distress for someone that may be in your environment. We'll see what's going on, what needs to change. Yeah, this is your energy. Queen of Swords energy, you may have definitely cut something out. You have your back towards this energy for whatever reason. You feel as if though you can't trust this energy. You feel as if though there's been a lot of mind games. There's been a lot of manipulation. There's been a lot of game playing. And you're just not, you're turning your back away from both of this five energy. Five energy talks about conflicts. It talks about disruptions. It talks about difficulties and hardships and things of that nature. And it's like, nope. 
you're turning your back away from anything that is going to bring you discord or chaos in your life and you're only looking forward to the things that are going to be positive so this is an energy that also talks about your money this is you focusing on your finances calculating your finances sticking to a budget creating maybe um, a projection plan a business plan how much money you need to create want to create or develop within a certain amount of time you're really focused on your finances right now and not really focused on potentially any relationships because there's no cup energy here on the board so let's see what's going on in your connections and your energy exchange and brand new beginnings so you do have a brand new connection that is coming in it could be soul tribe energy people that you're going to expand and grow with people that will motivate you and you'll motivate them or this could be a brand new beginning in love or a love relationship it just depends on where you are and your energy of vibration rather you're in a committed relationship now rather your relationship just recently fell apart and you're in this energy of separation if there's been a complete and total ending to a situation for you or rather you're sitting in this independent and single energy there's something brand new that is coming in when it has to do with relationships brand new beginnings Beginnings and relationships are coming in for you. So let's see what's going on on your path. Your path is at a little bit of a, at a pause. There's something here that you're either required to see differently from a different perspective or there's something here that you're seeing differently from a different perspective. And perhaps you're coming to this realization and awareness that certain things can continue with you on your path and certain things cannot. It's like letting go of the hardships and difficulties, the financial losses, the emotional losses, the mental chaos, mental confusion, things that aren't clear, lack of communication, lack of openness. It's like lack of distrust. It's like all of these things that our negative energies is being cut out here. And there's this high vibrational energy of an awareness of letting go of the things that you cannot control, surrendering anything to the divine that you feel as if though is out of your control and releasing it to the universe. And that's kind of like the energy that you're on. So you're open to wherever this new path this new beginning is taking you. So you're open to brand new beginnings and you're continuing to think about your elevation with the 12 and the 7 energy is all about the energy of the sun. So there's healing here. There's enlightenment here. There's overcoming obstacles and difficulties here. You do have this 12 energy that connects right here. And that's saying that this is something that had to be surrendered or released because it was blocking you from coming into your fulfillment. The nine of pentacles is the energy of coming into self-actualization. It's the energy of you standing in your purpose. It's an energy of you growing and developing. It's personal, professional development. It's also accomplishments of security and stability in your life and abundance as well. So let's see, what's your spiritual, daily spiritual practice? Your daily spiritual practice is the energy of gratitude. If you stay in the energy of gratitude and you're thankful for all of the blessings that you do have, you continue to draw in, continued in more blessings of the same. It's it's amazing energy to me because when I look at this energy here, you have the eight and the 12 brings you to the energy of 20. It's like a wake up call. It's a huge awareness. It's an energy of releasing, surrendering. These cards here bring in the energy of 21. So there's this energy of freedom. There's this energy of surrender and release. There's this energy of opening up to brand new things and really standing powerful in your convictions. This is an energy of self love. It also talks about compassion and love for others, but it's an energy that talks about awareness of yourself and really loving coming into yourself authentically nurturing yourself loving yourself supporting yourself it's an energy that talks about very high vibrational positive self-esteem positive self-awareness and it talks about tapping into your inner strength as well so there's a huge significance of tapping into your inner strength self-esteem and an energy of personal spiritual awareness this is self-love energy and it's falling right up underneath the nine of pentacles personal and professional development yeah king of cups energy now you're in the energy of emotional intelligence there's a lot of growth that has happened here whatever has happened in your past in reference to deceitful conflicting confrontational energies that you were in you're overcoming that overcoming any hardships overcoming any heartbreaks you're taking responsibility right this is a sense of accountability and the part that you may have played in any situation that you had going on in your life but it's also the energy of you just being able to 
maintain your own emotional control. When we look at the energy of emotional intelligence, we're looking at self-awareness. Self-regulation, autonomy, and personal authority. The energy of empathy, but it's also decision-making and very good social skills. So you have the capacity and ability to open up and communicate. But it's like when things are one-sided, it's very difficult. You can't force anything outside of your control, so you have to surrender it. And that's how this energy is coming through. Let's look and see what your cycle is here. Yeah, this is all about your like your life journey. This is all about your personal professional development. This is all about you moving into the energy of self-actualization, going through the life experiences to gain the knowledge, to gain further knowledge of self in order to have autonomy over oneself and sovereignty over self. It's all about building that long-term stability, generational wealth, and really coming into one's own. This is an energy that you'll be able to share your story and pay it forward to others about the obstacles that you've overcome, about the life path that you took about what you learned along your personal journey and you telling that story about your own personal growth and how you've been able to overcome different adversities and obstacles and to make these accomplishments in your life, then you'll be able to really speak very positively about your own spiritual, professional, emotional, and material growth and wellness. So let's look and see how are you spending your time, energy, and attention. Look at this. You're very happy and blessed with where you are in your life right now, which is a really good energy. You're spending your time healing yourself, focusing on yourself, loving yourself, really raising your vibration in whatever way. This is an energy that talks about gratitude. It could be doing a number of different things, affirmations, prayer work, meditation work, yoga work, mantra work, whatever it is that you're doing, it is helping you to raise your vibration, but it's also helping you to heal. There's a sense here of enlightenment and growth and things are being resolved right in the best way that they're meant to now that you've surrendered and released anything that you realize you had absolutely no control over now you can focus on the things that you do have control over you can focus on the things in your life that really truly matter and it's all about coming into that energy of happiness so there's a lot of awakening and a lot of enlightenment that has happened here we have enlightenment enlightenment and enlightenment energy here and we also have the energy of gained knowledge and awareness awareness as well with the seven of wands energy so let's see what is the energy of your gratitude this is nine of swords energy you're grateful that you finally healed from something that was causing you sadness whatever this five of pentacles was whatever this separation or loss was whatever this difficult hardship this could have been you know verbal abuse emotional abuse something that was very toxic you know, the Five of Swords energy is something very manipulative. It's something that's very um, antagonistic, intentional, intentional um, malice type of energy. It's like where someone is always constantly trying to demean you, belittle you, tear you down. And I'm thinking it had to do with your self-esteem because you have energy of the self-esteem card coming out here. It might have been a lot of emotional abuse, right? Withdrawing of love and, and not opening up and communicating and always keeping things open-ended and never really allowing for any closure. But you've been able to move past that energy you've gained the closure for yourself you no longer are seeking closure or seeking answers or any solutions from anyone else you've let it go you've released it to the divine and you're very grateful that you've come out of this hardship and out of this difficult energy there's no more sleepless nights you've been awakened to the awareness you've been enlightened and you're able to let it go so that you can have brand new beginnings this is an energy of healing surrender and release so let's take a look at the energy of you being your highest and greatest version look at you look at you beautiful here we have the energy of the empress coming out twice it's embracing the divine feminine energy and that's what look at the look at the cards that fall in line here nine of pentacles strength and the empress this is definitely you embracing your divine feminine energy and opening up to the magnificent prosperous, abundant, creative 
compassionate, loving spirit that you truly are. So this is very beautiful energy. It also lets me know that as you step into that fullness of who you are, as you embrace the loving nature and energy, you're in this energy of fruitfulness and abundance. So lots of beautiful and blessed things are going to be coming in for you in 2023. Let's take a look at your money mindset. Money is going to take off. Things may be slow. May Things are incubating right now. You know, it's going to take you some more strength, some more resilience, some more work. There may be things that are, haven't yet come fully together. Things are going to come together in divine timing. You still have a little bit more work, efforts and things that you need to do to get things in order or to get things flowing appropriately. It could be things around logistics. It could be things around social media marketing, or I'm getting the energy like click funnels or putting together something that is going to be prosperous and abundant, but it's going to be automated where you don't necessarily have to put in a whole lot of work and effort. Once you've established it and automated it, the money is just going to come in and things are going to begin to take off very significantly when it comes to your money. And that's because you're putting the focus on the things that you love. You're going to be moving at the beat of your own drum, which lets me know it could definitely be an entrepreneurial endeavor that you're going to be doing that's going to bring the stability and the success in your life when it comes to your finances that you are looking for. So let's take a look and see what your culminating energy and what is the bigger picture. The bigger picture in your culminating energy is that you're overcoming the heartbreak. You're leaving behind heartbreak and sorrow in your life. You're moving in this energy of awareness. It's like acceptance. It's like once you accept the things you cannot change, changing the things you can and the wisdom, no difference, things are going to move forward for you. This is also an energy that talks about accountability. I create, I make, I do. I create my own sorrows and heartbreaks about why, because I'm constantly focused and thinking about the things that have since passed. You're keeping that energy alive. I make my own heartbreak, sorrows and, and, and heartaches. Why? Because I continue to do the same thing over and over again and getting the same results. Or I do something that makes myself have sorrow, heartbreak or pain. Whatever it is, it's taking accountability. You may look overlook the red flags. You may not be impeccable with your words. You may not have set up the appropriate boundaries. You may not be, you know, standing up for yourself, communicating for yourself. You may also be letting things go on past the extended expiration date. This is something here about you moving forward. You have two night energies here. There's something here about you needing to continue to move forward. And I'm getting this energy of not looking back. So let's see, what do we have? Yeah, focus on yourself. Eight of Pentacles. Focus on yourself. Focus on what it is that you're building. Focus on mastering your skills, talents, and abilities. Tap into that divine feminine energy and allow yourself to grow and expand from that space and place and not from a space of place of sorrow. So if you want to repeat, there's something here about repeating an old cycle. If you continue to go back, because this is cycle energy, if you continue to go back, you're going to continue to repeat this same cycle. This is an energy that talks about knowledge and growth. So it's asking, have you grown past a certain situation? Have you gained all of the knowledge that you need to gain from a situation in order for you to move forward? But just be mindful. This is an energy of 15. It talks about the things that you're bound to. It talks about the blocks, the things that come into your life as lessons. What is the bigger picture that you need to learn how to move past anything that causes sorrow? and pain and make the decisions that are best for your highest self. Embrace the feminine. Within ourselves, there are two aspects of our nature, the feminine and the masculine. Here in the present, you need to embrace the feminine aspects of your nature and let it guide your steps. Now is the time to be nurturing, creative, and to connect with nature, home and heart. Listen to your intuition and emotions. Be receptive and compassionate. But remember, whilst you allow your feminine self to be dominant, you need to temper your gentleness with a fire that denies all meekness. So standing in your personal power, beautiful soul, is how you're meant to move forward. Let's go ahead and look and see what your chakra message is. What is the chakra message for the collective soul sign of Libra spirit? What does Libra need to know for their highest vibrational good? Chakra message for Libra. In reference to the spread your soul coaching session ending out 2022 and bringing in 2023 
and so it is. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. Let's see what chakra energies you need to work on, Libra. Gossip. <laughs> I love this card. It's heart chakra energy, which kind of brings me into the energy of embracing your divine feminine. But one of the things about this energy, it's an energy that talks about being misunderstood. Right. It's an energy of someone who's very eccentric, very different, that kind of goes to the beat of their own drum. They don't conform to the things around them. They often are looked at as others as being odd and maybe a little bit quirky and things of that nature. But at the end of the day, this person has a really good heart. And this is an energy that's just saying, be authentically you. Don't change who you are for anyone else. Allow your true, compassionate, loving nature to shine through. This whole middle role is really indicative of who you are. This is you and your spiritual practice. This is you and your current vibration. This energy here is all about you evolving into your highest and greatest form, the highest emanation of yourself, which is your true nature, which is Empress Energy. That has been your soul coaching session, beautiful Libra. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. I am honored and I am truly grateful. If you haven't already done so, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that like button. Share this video with those that you believe could benefit from the messages and subscribe. Become a part of the Soul Joiner family where we learn, grow, and expand together. Working to raise the collective conscious one unique soul at a time. And that unique soul is you. Until our soul paths cross again, soul joiners, I am wishing you love, peace, blessings, happiness, and abundance be on to you. Have a blessed and abundant new year. Namaste.